Smiley from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for August 2024. So on August 4th, we have the first of two major astro events taking place, which of course the first one starts with the new moon in Leo energy. First of all, the new moon is the dark phase of the moon. There's no illumination in the sky, which means that we have to sit with ourselves. We have to sit in the darkness, sit in the confusion, sit in the, let's call it disruption of certain experiences, certain situations and circumstances that popped off in order to illuminate where it is that we're moving away from certain people, places, and things. The new moon is typically an ending just as much as a beginning, but we do have to kind of acknowledge the heavier thoughts, the heavier feelings, the heavier situations in funk in order to figure out what it is that we no longer want to do, what we no longer want to pour into, what we no longer want to experience. From that, we're creating a framework on what it is that we would prefer to experience instead, and that becomes the new seeds, the new intentions that we plant under the new moon energy. This new moon taking place in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, is sun ruled. The sun is our life force energy. The moon is our unconscious selves. And so there is going to be an element here where there are going to be new realizations, new light bulb moments, new epiphanies that pop off that bring our unconscious wants, needs, and desires to the surface of our awareness, the surface of our acknowledgement, so that we can actually, you know, trigger a reignite a spark a fire a flame for us to start pivoting away from what could have been what should have been in our ego's minds versus what we want to build what we want to create from here so of course in leo energy being sun ruled there's going to be a huge spotlight on our heart space there is going to be a breakdown energy before a breakthrough energy. That's just part and parcel of a new moon. Because it is heart activated, the breakdown is likely going to be triggering an emotional outburst, an emotional uprising of some frustration, of some hurt, of some sadness, of some grief that we have been carrying that emotional baggage on our heart space for quite some time. Now we are starting to realize that we have to let it go. It's hard to build a new realm, a new reality while your hands are consumed with holding on to the heaviness, to the weight, to the baggage of the past. So just as we start unpacking this emotional baggage, seeing what we want to take with us, seeing what we want to leave behind, we start to pivot. Something shiny is over there in the peripheral. Something shiny is asking for our attention. This is new heart activations. We have to consider the fact that, of course, the sun being our life force energy has us in alignment with our heart space to be our real, raw, authentic selves. This is going to help further this new version of self in ground it, anchor it in, become more comfortable, more familiar with the new wants, needs and desires of this new version of self. I am going to recommend that you download the moon guide if you want to kind of do the shadow work to unpack some of these emotional issues that we are going to be leaving in the past. I am going to recommend that you do the work in those particular guides to align with this new creative force energy. I'm also going to recommend to listen to the August energy forecast if you haven't already, specifically your zodiac forecast. There's the sun the moon, your rising sign, that'll give you the greatest, grandest picture on what this particular moon event is actually going to mean for you. I think it's an interesting dynamic that we are essentially having this new moon in Leo pop off at 12 degrees, 34 minutes, because to me, I don't know about y'all, but whenever I see numbers such as one, two, three, four, that's an indicator to me that we're starting a brand new chapter. We need to put one foot in front of the other to initiate a new path, a new direction, a new choice point. Of course, you know, there is this element at 12 degrees where we are at the very beginning of the second deacon 
of this Leo energy. And there's definitely going to be some fiery spirits, some fiery moods, some fiery attitudes that get triggered and activated throughout this particular new moon. I want to just talk about the elemental energy profile here for a second. And we are leading with fire energy. We haven't had a whole lot of fire energy supporting moon events as of late. And fire energy, of course, helps us to kind of burn through the attachments, the cords that we have to the past. It helps dry us up from some of the emotion that definitely has been lingering since the new moon and cancer energy that we've been sitting in. Fire energy kind of reignites, again, a passion, a desire within us, new wants, new needs, new desires. We're getting all fired up in the best kind of ways. Now, granted, we do have some air energy supporting this fire. We love fire and energy, fire and air energy working together because this is like creative solutions. This is like, you know, our intellect working with our heart space to really figure out what it is that we're moving away from. And now what we want to do, what we want to pursue. We do have equal earth and water energies giving us a little bit of stability. So we're not making a whole lot of changes to our our physical realm but we are going to be analyzing it from a different perspective of course we have Uranus and Mercury retrograde in Virgo energy Uranus is in Taurus energy those are our two earth elements so we are reflecting back Mercury reanalyzing reviewing rearranging our physical realms Uranus and that Taurus energy, that Taurus energy is our physical realm, physical environment. The Uranian energy is showing us where it is that we got to switch things up, where we got to break out of the same old, same old mold and start doing things in a different way in order to get a different result. The water energy, of course, is coming from Saturn and Neptune, both of them retrograde and Pisces energy. So this is endings and closures, endings and closures for us individually in our own karmic chapters and us collectively as we kind of move into a new age. We have to deconstruct and remove the old round, the old reality before we can start building the new. And we're going to see that newness take hold early 2025 when Saturn and Neptune both move into Aries energy. More on that later. So this is going to be a heart activation. So let's focus on what we want to build, what we want to create, where we want to bring the fun back, what we love to do, what we would love to make money doing, where we're going to tap into new creative solutions to some long-term problems where we're going to tap into creative projects creative hobbies again we're tapping more and more into the creator abilities the more heart aligned we are the more we do the shadow work the more we start operating from our authentic selves the more power we have to actually create and design our lives according to the vision that we hold within our mind's eye and our heart space so the pivot point, I know this is like breakdown versus breakthrough energy. That's what a pivot is. But we're moving out of the cowardly kitten type of vibe that we've been sitting in in Leo season to boss up into the pride, the lion, the king of the jungle, the mf -er that roars each and every single day to remind himself of how much power he has and all the other jungle dwellers to remind them who is in charge and this is now us. We are tapping into a new level of pride within ourselves. We are seeing the wounds, the battle scars that we've accumulated now as badges of honor. We're not hiding them away. We're more open to talking about our pain, our trauma, our struggles, our truth, our story that comes with the entertaining vibe of Leo energy. I also want to throw this out there as well, because, you know, Leo energy really embodies the childlike curiosity, the childlike creativity, the inner child wounds got exposed to us throughout cancer season. That's what cancer energy is all about. The way to heal those wounds get triggered and activated in the Leo energy, which is First of all, we have to express ourselves, right? We have to get some things off of our chest. We have to be bold and brave and courageous enough to stand in our truth, to speak our truth from a confident type of perspective. We also have to tap into our curiosity again, our playful energy is again, our laughter again. This is how we heal. And so, yes, there's still a lot of inner child work going on because we've identified the wounds. We sat in it. We cried over it. 
we we were all up in a kerfuffle about it in cancer season and we've been under the new moon in cancer influence up until this new moon in leo now we have to come out with it we have to boss up we have to speak our peace we have to share our emotions and our affections with the world around us we have to tell our stories and we have to begin the healthy part of the healing which is bringing the laughter the playfulness back so in the moon guide you're going to realize that there are a lot of pros helping us out a lot of positive influences under this particular new moon uh very few cons may i add but the cons that we do have are major, major growing pains. So let me just throw a couple of aspects at you here. We have Mars and Jupiter in conjunction in Gemini energy. That is going to be a major mood, a major attitude for us to kind of boss up, to be a little bit more aggressive with asserting ourselves, going after our passion, going after our dreams. We also have Venus and Mercury is now retrograde in a conjunction as well. They're working together. Uh, Mercury is, of course, looking back and in Virgo energy. We're dissecting how it is that we've gotten here. We're kind of looking at our lives, trying to figure out, you know, who and what needs to stay, needs to go. Venus. Venus is who I want to talk about here for a second. She's at the 29th critical crisis karmic degree of Leo energy because... This new moon is taking place at 7.13 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Venus moves into Virgo energy at 10.23 p.m. So she sits at the 29th critical crisis karmic degree all day under this new moon in Leo. And to me, that speaks volumes because Mercury retrograde is picking apart our lives, dissecting what needs to stay, what needs to go. Venus in the heart and soul of the Zodiac in her, in the Leo energy, she's realizing that, guess what? We're about to make some major changes here. We are about to pivot in a very hard way. Major change of heart. And again, if you've listened to the August energy forecast, the overview that I put out, you would know that we're in the month of eight. Major change, major transformation. And in Leo energy, it all stems from the pivoting of our heart space. So I do encourage you to, again, download the guide, to listen to the forecast, to get all the information up in your brain space so that you can stay in alignment and ahead of these particular energies. This is, again, the first of two major shifts. The second one, of course, Venus moving into Virgo energy. That's a separate astro forecast, but very, very potent week that we are about to move into, and it is highly recommended that you stay ahead of the game. <music>